good as far as geniuses go. Doing pretty good as far as geniuses go. Doing doing pretty good as far as geniuses go. Far as geniuses go. Far as geniuses go. Doing doing pretty good as far as geniuses go. What is up? We are back for another week of the Educated Assholes Podcast. I'm just Dane. It's your boy Rob. And you know, tonight is a special night because you know. First and foremost, real quick, mm-hmm. uh, just to let you know, we're, we're filming in another location. We, this is temporary. It's another clip episode. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit of foot traffic, so if you hear it, mind your business. You don't know where we're at. You don't know. Gang, gang. Plus, right. we got mics anyway. Yeah. So you'll be able to hear us clearly and precise. That's so, tonight, we are in the year 2024. Today. Into the light. Mm. The year of truth. The Cat truth. Williams said it first at the beginning of 2024. This year is the year of truth. Age of Aquarius. So, unwavering, unfiltered, unsettling, fucking truth. Question for you. Okay, hit me. What's the truth the people don't know about you just from seeing or looking at you? Seeing or hearing you? I was about to say, (laughs) the fact that I know the difference between those two words. Um, Uh... Well, a lot of people know now. Oh, just by looking at me? Yeah, just by looking at something that people wouldn't expect just by looking at you. The language thing. I, well, I, you already told that on the podcast. Yeah, but you yeah. asked the you random people that would see me. Okay, fine. True. Um, True. Um, I'm smarter than them. I don't know. Jesus Christ. It's the truth. Okay. <laughs> Come on, debate me on that. All, all right. right, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Educated part. Facts. What about you? I think... Uh, a secret truth of mine. Gay? No, okay, okay. okay. Gay? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. Good. Is that I'm a voracious reader. Okay, okay, fair. Fair. Like, if you that. look at me on the street, you just think I'm some fucking sports playing football guy that doesn't read shit at all, but I'm a voracious reader. I read a lot. So, I, I know a little about a lot. Fair. So, that's the same thing with the language. If it's somebody random on the street, let's just say they don't watch the podcast. Yeah. I mean, listen, first of all, the last uh, episode where I said that, we only got like 3,000 views. 3,000 out of 8 million, billion. That's a lot. That's, you know. Yeah. And I, I'm very appreciative for all 3,000 of those views. Do better. Tell your friends. This year is the year of truth. You know what's happening, what's going on in the news. There's a lot of things going on in the news. Blocking. First off, we got to first, first off talk about the fucking Met Gala. That's the buzz. Ugh. The TikTok. An old girl, Haley Bailey, starting off with her talking about her Marie Marie Antoinette. Let them eat cake, bitch. If you don't understand how tone deaf that is, Shorty is tripping. You know, here's the thing. Blacklist 2024. Well, let's start with the Met Gala. Right? Yes, yes. So with the Met Gala, you know, obviously there's other stuff going on in the world, right? Facts. And especially right across the street where there was a whole protest. And something about the Met Gala's date being changed. I don't know too much about the Met Gala other than these people are wearing some shit that they have to be carried up the stairs in. Well, but this, yeah. But the second thing is like, I don't know if I cared ever, and I'm just like, I don't. It's not something important to me, and I don't understand. I, you know what? I don't care what's your thing or what's not. It's not. I, I don't understand what's important to other people. These people paid seventy five thousand dollars for a ticket, fifty thousand dollars for a, a, a plate. Maybe I do know more about it than I think. Yeah. Just for them to stand on camera and wear some shit that we have no it. It's the Hunger Games. It is. It's the fucking Hunger people, Games. A lot of people say that it was the Hunger Games. And so, yeah, you talked about the protests. That they were marching to the Met Gala because mm-hmm. of the stuff that's going on in Palestine, the genocide. And you motherfuckers over here talking about let them be cake and dressing in fucking flower outfits. It literally was a contrast of the Hunger Games. We out here struggling with inflation and can't even fucking people getting fired. Tesla laying off 14,000 people. And bring it back, motherfuckers, when they fucking stupid as shit. And y'all over here paying seventy five thousand dollars to go to a costume institute. I'm gonna ask There's you more conspiracy I gotta there. there. I, no, I feel you on that. I feel yeah. you on that. But then also with the Met Gala, right? Mm-hmm. If we have these people doing this thing, I, if you had the bread and you were famous, and they're like, if you go to the Met Gala, more people will see you. You extend your brand. Yes. So I don't. I mean, there's other ways to do that, probably. But the Met Gala is like, if you're if you're famous, that's the famous junction to go to. It's no longer Diddy's house. <laughs> and the fact is, but oh yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 continue, continue. no, no, no. It was just like you, you mentioned you... Diddy, and that was the, that was the I know, point. I know, I know. Because I know. it's like all of this shit is going on, and 
No one talks about Diddy. Diddy no more. No one's talking about Diddy, man. Like, you're not talking about his house is being raided. You're not talking about, well, what's going on with the court cases? What's going on with all the people? Ooh. None of that shit is in the news anymore. Yeah. It's a fucking distraction. A little bit. And you know who fucked it up for Diddy? His son. His the son one is who can't, a fucking... The one who can't close his mouth just like him. Yeah, the one who fucking dry snitched on him and made a song. Bro. Oh. First off, I don't even <laughs> understand the fucking <laughs> diss. Like, the di- no. you can't understand the diss. He's like... Uh, uh, when we only had 50 cent and some some shit and there's many men. I was like, how is it a diss, bro? You were, first off, Diddy was never a good rapper. His son is a terrible rapper. Somebody told me, it was like, the apple don't fall far, fall, fall far from the tree. I was like, nigga, Diddy was never a tree. There was never no fruit to grow. So the most, no, well, <laughs> well, well, there was fruit to pick. Well, Ooh. not from a rapper's tree. <laughs> there was definitely a lot of fruit picking. Yeah. Look, but that's so hard. We'll have to cut that. I'm on. Um, but yeah, okay, so you got this idiot saying some shit like, that's why the FBI only found one of our houses. Now the FBI they didn't even look at, they even check the one next door. Oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> he did not look like he was that bright to begin with. <laughs> King Combs is his name. That nigga, so, that's not a retarded, retarded. You need to stop when you feel <laughs> the soft part. <laughs> that nigga really <laughs> got the bouncing balls on the words on the screen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Instead of having a mic stand with the with the words on it, hey beef, fuck you, there, nah, Jesus yeah, Christ. but I mean, it, it, it goes into this thing where I had this conversation with somebody about it because we were talking about the Met Gala, yeah. and we were talking about, like you said, people don't have enough money to buy food, but yet these motherfuckers. So it's a different story. The way she described it to me, she said, two tr- two things can be true at once. Yes, Since we're talking about truth. Two things can be true at once. Yes, there is famine, there is poverty. People will march to the Met Gala because it's the biggest place to get that kind of, oh, what's this march? Let me turn one, at least one camera around and you got all these people talking about Palestine so you bring awareness to it. But also, then the people will still go inside and eat their fucking stupid ass cake. Yeah. And they're always going to do that. There's always going to be the rich. But two things could be true. We could be protesting, we could be fighting, and then we can't afford eggs, but... There's entertainment because we need to find some release. I I do agree with you on the entertainment part, but also I I want to say truth. Don't let these motherfuckers distract you from what's going on overseas, from Palestine. Don't let these motherfuckers distract you from what's going on right here in our fucking backyard. True. The Diddy shit. Don't let them distract you with Kendrick and Drake's fucking battle. Diddy shit is a distraction too. Even it though is. It no, is no, no, a distraction. No, no, no. Don't, don't get me wrong because I don't want to have to get into no battle with somebody else on Instagram. No, no, it is it's a distraction. It's still fucked up and he still needs to go to jail and yes. people are still thinking about that it. That is a truth. That's a truth. But, yes, that it's is also still a distraction a, right. from the real shit. We're talking the real shit meaning the real things that affect our daily Facts. lives. Facts. With these fucking politicians. Don't let these motherfuckers distract you from the fact that they're passing laws to take away our rights oh, every fucking day. And now we are the United States of Israel. Yo. As opposed to the United States and, of America. You know, what, you know what? For a while, shit. I was a little nervous about talking about shit like this. But I'm like, I. It's here's my thing. You know my friends. Yes. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. But if the shoe fits, wear that lace that bitch up and wear it. So if Size I have, seven, now, nigga. if you hear something in the background and there's a vending machine, and I'm, I might get a soda in the middle of this and let him talk. All right, anyways. But my thing is, I know people from Israel. I know people who are from Palestine. Yes. And some of the Palestinians are like, we condemn Hamas. A lot of Palestinians are like, we condemn Hamas. We're not Hamas. Fucking Bill Maher. Did you see when he was talking to fucking Bill Burr? Yes. And Yo, Burr was like, shut the fuck up and stop acting like you're a general. Yo, even, even <laughs> Bill, Bill Burr was sitting there like this with his hand. Like, he was sitting there the and he didn't say shit. And yeah, he just listened Because Bill Maher was like, Bill Maher was like, um, you know, and it's these, and these, tough and, these tough yeah, and these Hamas people, he was like, wait, 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 not all Palestinians are Hamas. Hamas. He was like, yes, they are. And he was like, see, that's the misinformation that's out there. And like, you see, I all these Bill was supposed to be on the on the fence. And you know, I was watching. Actually, you know, I want to talk about this. Another truth. I was watching Bill Maher the other day. I was watching one of his episodes of the Real Time with Bill Maher. And literally, he had Don Lemon on, and he had some writer I forget the name, and then he had Robert F Kennedy Jr. Yeah. And so they Never were talking. Time. And they were talking about, and literally when it got to him in the panel, they were literally just bashing all the college students that were protesting and talking about these stupid kids, they don't know because they're getting all their information from TikTok. I was like, bro, I am so tired of you motherfuckers 
with the Magic same rhetoric, with this rhetoric, with the same rhetoric, Fraggle Rock, with the same rhetoric that TikTok is the bad guy. They get it from Instagram too. You're getting get it all this, Facebook. you're getting all this bullshit and trying to put it on us like we're not getting the real news. The thing is, we are getting the real news. That's why the revolution yeah. is happening now. And, funny, and you motherfuckers are scared. And the funny thing is. They're the bad news. You yes. know what I'm saying? Bill Maher. Because they're trying to perpetuate the whole, the same system we've been in for 200 fucking years. It pisses me off when people go, oh my God, the building. I can't believe they hurt the building. The pro protesters. How dare they? You're, you're, more, you're, you're more concerned. You don't have tuition paid to build that building. Facts. Facts. They're paying tuition to be. Matter of fact, remember this. We don't. And shut up. Remember the 70s? <laughs> remember hearing about the 70s? Yeah, I remember. Fucker. <laughs> I yeah. wasn't born. I wasn't either, you dick. <laughs> Thank you for wearing pants this time. <laughs> no sliding in the knees. <laughs> um, I, they, were, they, were, they were protesting. They, they were going to war. These hippies, whatever you want to call them, these yeah. people, right? They have, you got to have a label on them. Yeah. These people, that famous thing where she put a flower in the gun. What's up? Woodstock, or not even just Woodstock, but they were protesting the war for Vietnam. They were they were doing stuff on campuses. They were doing stuff on Great Lawns. They were peacefully yeah, but Woodstock protesting. Woodstock was the biggest. One. Oh no, no, it absolutely was. But I'm just saying, like all over the country, mm -hmm. even all over the world, there were people like we don't want this war, and we're we're going to be the ones that have sent the war. And and when they protested, you know, people look back on those days and they go, those were great people who stood up for our rights, and we shouldn't have been there. And now you got, oh my God, the building that they paid to be in. I can't believe that they would. And, and here's the other thing. They don't say nothing about the, 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 the Israeli students, the ones that were kicking down shit, trying to start fires in the encampment. So you're willing to kill people on American soil. Yes. Like, get the fuck. I, I, I don't understand. This is not all Israelis. There are no. a lot, there's a lot of Israelis that are actually protesting with the protesters that fucking Congress and the news won't tell you. They'll tell you that all of these kids are stupid and dumb idiots and they're, they're, they don't, they're misinformed, they're not getting the right information, the Palestinians are... This is a fucking genocide. And I've kind of stayed away from that word. Same. I've kind of stayed away from that word, but it is what it is, motherfucker. It, it is a fucking genocide. You are definitely ethnic cleansing. And, and what you said in a the, in the couple episodes ago, we were talking about World War III, right? You said... Um, you know, it, it's wild because some people will bring up, well, this happened back in the 80s, and this happened back in the blah, 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 right? Yeah. But regardless of the fact, okay, if Palestine was destroying Israel and committing genocide and taking their land and putting up signs talking about new beachfront property coming soon, we would be on that side of history as well. We'd be like, fuck Palestine for this genocide. Any genocide is wrong. Right now is the genocide against the Palestinians. Yes. I don't give a fuck what view I'm saying this straight up. Truth. This is my truth. So if he don't feel the same way, no offense, whatever, whatever, we, we agree to disagree this is how we are. This is the educated part. Yes. And you should be able to agree to disagree. Yes. I don't give a fuck if you don't want to watch my podcast because I'm on the side of history that you don't agree with, the right and we side. can't have a fucking discourse about it, if you can give me fucking facts, I will I will say, hey, this is Rob, I'm in the comments with you, boop, 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 what's up, tell me why you feel, without calling people a fucking dog, without saying they deserve to die, and without, without, without comparing this genocide, or not comparing this genocide to any other one, and saying this is right and religious and all this other or, bullshit. Or calling us anti-Semitic. Yeah, oh, they've taken, uh, they've taken the They've taken the term anti-Semitic and literally blanketed over anything. But the Ku Klux Klan still fucking exists and gets to call meaning, me a nigga. Meaning... I can't even talk against, I can't even speak out against Israel or Israelis or I'm anti-Semitic. So I can't criticize in America, I'm to put but yet right Israelis can harm Americans on, on American, American soil, soil. Yeah. and talk shit about getting a president impeached because he didn't send bombs to their company Yo. or to their country and all how our billions of dollars pay for Israelis to go to college. I might, oh, that, bro, bro, there's so <laughs> much shit. And look. I am not anti-Semitic at all. No, we're not. Because there are Israelis that are in Israel protesting Fact. Netanyahu. Oh, matter of fact, motherfuckers. Same ones that'll be like, oh, oh I can't. I, all right, you know what? Certain Watch is, this. There's certain Israelis, and I won't say the name, but it starts with a Z and ends with a T. So you know what I'm saying. There's and certain. Is, the is multiple, it's plural. Well, in, it's, it's ST. I get Zionist. it. Zionist. With the S, because it's plural. I Zionist. 
is one. You said that it was a group, it was a grammar. It's called Zionist Jews. Oh, but you didn't do that. But it's still into that. Anyway, it's still into that. You fucked up a whole goddamn point. God damn it. All right, look, look. I, I, I didn't say Jews, you said Jews. I said Zionist Jews. You said Zionist Jews just now. I it's know. still into the S. Well, that Zionist Jews is with an I-S-T. And then Zionist. Jews has an this is gonna God be damn it. <laughs> look, and, and, and I'm saying this directly, all of this is to the camera. What, who am I from for? Yeah. I know she's gonna watch this, and I'm gonna say this to you directly. I'm not gonna say your name, but I know you're watching it, straight up. I, I was about to tell me he was gonna edit this to zoom in. Um, you know, it was one thing when you were saying something about Ukraine and how your heart goes out to Ukraine, right? Yeah. And how Russia was so, how dare they, and it's, it's not right. And the minute, you know, the Israelis start attacking Palestine, you're like, no, these dogs deserve to die. And the reason we're not friends and you still watch my shit, and you're the same person that when Mike Brown got killed, remember when we were talking about this? Mike yeah. Brown, oh, I just need more information. Didn't he steal a cigarello? So he needs to die? Are you fucking kidding me? So it's my thing is like, and, and I still, and we still have mutual friends that happen to be Israeli. Yeah. And some of them just came back from taking their little uh, oh, siblings to birthright, right? Oh, Israel to Jerusalem. Yeah, so my thing is like, they came back and they're like, I cannot believe that Netanyahu, I cannot believe that, you know what I'm saying, like America, I cannot believe, and they're against it, and they stand with Palestine on that. And the Palestinian protesters that they went to go visit at UCLA yeah. when it was happening, they stood with them and the Palestinians were like, thank you. They didn't go, get out of here, you know what I'm saying? So like, I, it, it burns me up so much because of the fact that I'm black in America, I'm also Native American in America, and I'm also like, like, look at the history behind that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? So if you don't watch this shit because you think we're anti-Semitic, then go fuck yourself, because we're not. Well, I'm for sure not anti-Semitic because I study the Judaism uh, religion, and I'm an Israelite. I was born and raised in the church. So if anybody's Jewish, I'm fucking Jewish. I'm a black Jew, bitch. So I can't be anti-Semitic. I listen to Sammy Davis Jr. And I'm not anti-Semitic. I can criticize what I think is wrong. Yeah. And fuck Michael Rappaport. What did he say? So Michael Rappaport did an interview and he was like, all these black people are being silent and not saying and speaking up. Uh, Niggas is not about to time hold on, can I finish? Yeah, no, Niggas no. is not about to join you in fucking a genocide, nigga. We're not about to join your team. We're not about to join your team. Anything else, some shit you getting fucked with, niggas punching you in the face randomly in New York, we there. I'm tired. But other than that, I'm not about to fucking join your team when I know something is wrong. Niggas is not helping me. I'm, I'm tired of we this gonna whole sit thing back, where somebody... We gonna sit back nah, fuck and that. not sit back and relax because, you know, niggas got to work. But I'm saying, there's shit going on here in America. There's motherfuckers that can't eat at night. There's still fucking starving children in America. Not, I ain't talking about other countries. They're starving kids here. This is the year of truth. It's time to expose all these motherfuckers. You know, I, I, I'm gonna tell the you, corporate greed and I, all that I'm shit. I'm pissed Royally. when white people that get a place of power yeah. try to put black people down like you grew up like us. It's because you grew up in, the, in, in New York. Does it not mean, or Boston. New York or Boston, you have the accent. I don't even fucking know. I don't care anymore. I used to like you in the movies. I mean, you did shoot Tyra Banks in, in fucking uh, Higher Learning. That was wild. But, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, I, don't don't talk about black people in the middle of. First of all, you know how many motherfuckers are still. I, I'm you're trying to make it like we're the bad guys. Get the fuck out of here with it. That's the other thing. There's so many bad guys. There's so many actual fucking bad guys. And then then fucking the orange sausage is still sitting in fucking the the mushroom king is sitting in court right now, yeah. being defending. Uh, uh, well, you know the courts. They're they're the Supreme Court is ruling on if he's gonna be immune still. Uh, yo, are you if he gets immune, that nigga's about to blow up the planet. You know like, what? You know what pissed me off? You know what pissed me off? Truth. Y'all are about to to get Obama for a tan suit. Yeah, sure. The drone strikes. Da da da. Y'all impeached Clinton over a fucking blowjob first, and then there was other shit. Yeah. You want to impeach Biden because of stupid things, and then you know this motherfucker. You, you're talking about the American family, the core family values. Fact. You impeach a dude for getting a blowjob against his. Family. I mean, I had nothing to do. Just because he got a blowjob doesn't mean he's gonna press the fucking nuke or, or kill everybody. But he, oh, he was against his family. That's what they was so hardcore. And the Republican Party was like, and and it's against the American. Talk about Clinton. Yeah. What are they showing us? That nigga got us out of the deficit. This motherfucker here. <laughs> this motherfucker. I fucking Clinton. This this. That's a real nigga. Peeing beauty. The fucking fainting goat in the, in the court keeps falling asleep. 
is defending himself against literally paying him. Matter of fact, she's the only one who's ever gotten paid from him. She's the only one who's ever gotten money from him. Yeah. Anybody who did business with him probably got stiffed. Yeah, he didn't give her a stiffy, but gave her money. It's just weird. It's the whole fucking thing. You mean to tell me that he can say, grab him by the pussy. He can do all this other shit. He can, he can cheat on his wife. He can cheat on the fucking country. He can talk to Russia. He can do all this bullshit. He's invincible, okay? I'm not going to lie. The only shit we've seen from him, he's kind of invincible. The, the but truth is they don't give a fuck. 2024, you're watching the, when we go back to this, we will start on the Met Gala. When we go back to talking about celebrities and the distractions, uh, 2024 is the year where all of these motherfucking stars are falling. Think about Drake. Drake sold most of his fucking American properties. That nigga's like, I'm getting out of here. Round of applause. Get the fuck out of here. Go back. Oh, we ho. Take your ass back to fucking Toronto. That is ham. That is a ham disc. That is not bacon. Shout out Kendrick. Shout out Kendrick for winning that battle. Facts. But fucking, all, it's the fall of the celebrities. The truth will be shown. The lights is the lights are turning on. So the cat the club is two a.m. in the club. The lights are coming on. So like all these motherfuckers are about to, to think about Williams. it. Guess who else? Yeah. Guess who else has uh, disappeared? Mr. Jay Z. Oh, you haven't heard about him. Anymore. You haven't heard about Jay Zizzle. He didn't even, I think him and he him and Beyonce they disappeared. I think Beyonce's on tour or something. I'm Maybe. gonna be honest with you. Them niggas is gone. They ain't gonna get us, nigga. We out. We were in the car listening to fucking. She was like, "Oh, let me hear that Beyonce shit." Country album. Yeah, I was like, "All right, let's give it a shot." Right, give it a shot. I I mean, my thing is, you know what? I'm not the demo. I'm not the demo. I'm not, you know, I'm not that that big on country. I like country songs when they're good. Like shout outs to Shabuzi, the guy who was like, uh, "Number one, we got." Yeah, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a. Sounds like trap country. Yeah, it's a party song. But the thing is, is that black people have always been in country. We are the originators of country. Facts. We ain't fucking, we ain't, all of these genres you white people think we are stepping into, as y'all try to say, they're stepping into, they're like dogs. They just try to go wherever they want. Niggas, shut the fuck up. We invented this shit. But it don't matter. You niggas stole it. It don't matter. You know why? You motherfuckers. Whoever's whoever's got the most money. I ever got the fucking money. Exactly. You got the most money and you got the most people. This is going to be the last time I do this disclaimer. We ain't talking about all whites. We ain't talking about all blacks. All Facts. black people ain't niggas. We, we ain't talking, talking about, about everybody. We ain't talking about all Jews. We I'm equal about... opportunity racist. I ain't talking about all <laughs> Not racist. I'm equal opportunity prejudice. Facts. More right. prejudice than racist. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I hate it when I hear people saying these black people are like ju- jumping into these genres. I'm like, nigga, you know, there was never a white man playing a banjo, ever. You know where you saw that at? Minstrel shows and black people. That was country. You know why? Because they way couldn't get before. The history of it is you, they couldn't get a whole, you know, real good. They couldn't make exactly. all these instruments. They couldn't play piano. Well, the banjo's from Africa. Yeah, no. And like these motherfuckers, they just love to act like we don't originate shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all know that all of the culture yow, in yow. America moves with black people. Facts. When we do something, everybody else fucking tags along. And don't say it like it ain't true, because you know that's the truth. I'm going to tell you another truth that's crazy. Where Oprah at? That's a question. It's not no, a they all just, I'm, That's literally 2024 is the year of truth. These motherfuckers are going to fall like down. I got a random truth for you. What is it? Okay. So I rabbit hold on this one. And if anybody wants to, that's cool, too. I dare you to look this up. Uh, the James Webb Telescope, right? Yes. Giant fucking telescope. Take me to space. So here's the thing. I'm not a flat earther at all, by any measure. I'm also like, I've never been to space. I probably never go to space. I don't know what the fuck is going on. NASA has had so many flip-flops with their CGI. <laughs> They're admitting CGI. Um, the galaxy that they just showed, and then they got somebody who's not really a whistleblower. He just quit. He's like, that's fake. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> then you show the space station where water starts filling up in the helmet. Or they go, <laughs> Did you see the one where the girl's up there and she's, first of all. You like, can no liquid water? Is this the space, well, right? It can, but inside the helmet, where is it coming from? There's not enough water to condense in the tank to but pull. That's, but that's what it wouldn't pull. Right. It'd be droplets. It would almost drown. <laughs> Here's the other thing. The other crazy thing is the, girl, the girl's in space and she's clinking the, um, the, uh, her harness onto the, the station. As she does it, there's a loud clink clink. There's not going to be a sound in the vacuum of space. And this is all science that NASA has put out. Because they're the ones who've gone to space. My thing is, as she does that, with the big click clink, a mouse comes on the outside (laughs) of the fucking thing. And they cut the feed. There was also one guy who 
was going through the spacewalk. He's talking about washing right. his he's washing his hair, right? And then all of a sudden you hear and he's hanging and because one of the strings. <laughs> you hear, and then oh he's just, my god. And then they cut the feet. Bro. Okay. So I'm 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 telling you about this for a reason. Okay. The James Webb telescope. So uh, there's a document that's going around. It is a literal patent from NASA, CIA, NSA, etc. And the James Webb Telescope shape, it doesn't say it on there, but the exact dimensions, because they put it side by side. Yeah. If I can find it again on one thing, I'll post it up here. I'm, I'm going to try to be better with that. But this is what the James Webb Telescope looks like. This is what the other thing looks like. They're identical, and this one is called the Sun Simulator. Right, mm -hmm. and the funny thing is, everybody since the, the eclipse has been talking about how white the sun is, and when they have these Nikon cameras and they zoom the fuck in, they start seeing little sunspots that have hexagonal shapes in them. Oh my god! Um, those hexagon shapes would not come from the sun. The sun's not a hexagon. And on top of that, then you have other things that are seeing like, wait, if the sun just set, what the fuck is that? Why is that in the clouds? Or when the fucking like I said before, when we were watching the eclipse and the moon just the moon would have still been there. Yeah. It just, it, we would have, we see the sun and the, the moon in the daytime all the time. Some Australian guy's like, I asked a little way that you watching the eclipse and we got the sun right here, motherfuckers. I mean, the moon. Yeah. How? How do you have the moon and we got the moon? And it's only passing, they keep saying, oh, it's going to pass the Americas like this. How did you get it on that story? <laughs> yeah, it's just on the other side of the world. Lie right to now. me better. Yeah. That's, that's my, yeah. don't be so ahead and tell me. Don't get friend. lazy with your lies. Now, yeah. that's what I'm saying. They believe, they think we're so stupid. We were. Now. We were. But they think we're so stupid now that they can be like, just show them motherfuckers anything. They don't believe anything. They don't believe anything because we done fed them bullshit. We done fed them that dirty food. We done, we got, we, we done drunk 87 billion gallons of fucking toxic waste into their water. Yeah. So they all getting fucking transformed. They all turn it into fucking Captain Planet and shit. Right. <laughs> we, done, we done oops. We oops and hit a bridge by accident. That wasn't us. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, that was a big trade route. Really? Then we blew up another bridge. Oh, really? prices gotta go up. Gas, everything. We gotta take it up. We can't, we can't get no cars. We were stupid back in the days when they were like, milk is everything because the farmers had a, had a blah, 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 right? They like, you used we to- We were stupid when they were, have, when all we had was radio and they were like, they just took a big piece of sheet metal and was like, this is thunder. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They were like, the aliens are coming and motherfuckers are hopping in there. Now we got, we got everything at our fingertips and we can put two and two and two and two and two together. A lot of motherfuckers, shit. motherfuckers is putting a lot of shit together because it's a lot of shit. Like, and you know that that's the reason they really want to ban TikTok because we're finding this information and sharing it with other people. Now, don't get us wrong. There's a lot of misinformation Facts. on all social media. That's also a truth. However, I can watch. Like, you know what? They're gonna shut this shit down. I don't give a fuck at this point. If you can tell by my glazed over look, I have the shittiest fucking day. Oh, this is the highlight. Before you jump, before you jump into that, I wasn't gonna jump into that. I was gonna say TikTok. Good. No, no, I'm saying before you jump yeah. into when, why are you talking about this is with this to go with TikTok. So, ByteDance, they're offering the government a back door into TikTok on mm -hmm. the 17th. So they'll have access to all everything. <laughs> I don't know if I like that either. I don't like that shit at all because you know they're going to be like, let's change this so they can't see this. At the end of the day, though, bro, they already took Steam off the STEM. Yeah. Yeah, we were, I was. I, you know, I was I was watching that shit. I was watching. Like I was watching. You know what my favorite thing to watch is the, the kids doing the fucking spelling bees. I love that shit. You know, the little Indian kid would get up there and he's like, "Fuck that, bro." I love the STEM feed. I thought you were saying. I, mean, I, I thought you were saying it. me watching the Indian kids was. <laughs> I'm not Drake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, like that. That was cool to me because. You know what? It, it, it reminds me that there's still good and there's still education going on in the world. Like Real education. You yeah. know, like when we watch the, I watch the Olympics. I love watching the gymnastics. Yeah. Ignorant motherfuckers in the hood be like, yo, what you doing? Come out. I'm like, nah, I'm watching the, the Olympics. What you watching? That like, chaos. Why I gotta be all that? Why can't I just watch something? Because this motherfucker is a fucking pretzel. And she's doing, you know, Dominique thought she was bad too. I'm just saying like this, this whole fucking. It's the, it's the year of truth, man. It's really the year of truth. And it's like, you got to, like, I sit back and I think I'm like, damn, it took this long for us to realize how many demons are inside the music industry and the film industry and how they're doing people to, like, really start this whole block list thing. To yeah. start blocking, to seeing how, how some of these celebrities are ungrateful for the blessing they have of being a celebrity. There's also another truth to that, too. The blessing is 
you're bought in. It's, it's like, yeah, you're talented, but you're also like, can you, you have use to do your this platform. thing. Use your platform for good. That's all. And that was what the block list was about. Yeah. It's like, why are we fucking, why are we just looking at these motherfuckers for entertainment? There's shit really going on in this world that affects all of us. And if these motherfuckers can't use this platform that we've given them, it ain't like they just earned it. True, true. People have to give you this platform. That if you can't use that shit for good and speak out against this shit going on overseas because you actually have influence, we're yeah. blocking your bitch ass. It's kind of even like uh, uh, what that guy said. He was like, you know what's really funny? When Black Panther came out, Drake was like millions of miles more successful than Kendrick at the time. Yeah. And they were like, this is the biggest black movie ever. We just our biggest black, not ever, but like our superhero. This is... This was monumental. People were walking in with dashikis, like representing the culture. Yeah. Why didn't they get the most popular? Because they could have. They could afford them. Why didn't they get Drake? And somebody was like, "They got Kendrick for that shit." And another reason why you know that we're not stupid anymore is because we're up here dissecting this dude's lyrics like a motherfucker, yes. like chopping this shit up. Yes. So you know, when, when it comes down to it, it's like you got Drake who had some of the biggest platforms on earth, and he's not saying a goddamn thing about anything important. Even Daylight said that in that interview. He was like, you know, what happens when you got, um, like, you have the biggest platform. How come you can't be like... How come you can't make something that matters? Yeah, how come you, you can't Michael like, Jackson made something that matters? Exactly. If you have a bunch of girls who follow you, like millions, you can't say like, hey, exactly. you know, like, I love my girl eating vegan yeah. every week. And but I don't because, know you know, he's doing. perpetuating, he wants to perpetuate the negative stereotypes. Drake yeah. is, like, think about it. This nigga got into his 30s and got fucking braids and put barrettes in his hair. First of all... That's not a nigga that's trying to grow and show you the real man. side of his sound. Okay, okay, yes, you're right. He's not... No, no, I was, I was fucking around with... I but was, I'm just saying, that's hands not hands a hands. motherfucker that's trying to grow and actually show you... Oh. So, they're not trying to show you how to be a man. They're not trying to show you how to love a woman. He just literally showing you how to fucking do drugs, drink alcohol, fuck bitches, and fucking troll niggas online. Go deeper than that. Everything is coming out. All the receipts, right? Everything yeah. is being shown. And the nigga like young girls. You, right? Well, allegedly. I mean, so like, okay, <laughs> hold on. Before I get to my point, don't let me forget my point, but be before I get there, how the fuck is everything alleged when it comes down to somebody? I don't, first well, of all, just, I don't the, hang around. I know, I know, I know. know. We're going to get sued for the Israel shit anyway. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm so me, motherfucker, because I ain't speaking nothing but I'm, facts. I'm, I did the research, bitch. I'm in my 40s. This ain't motherfucking just speculation. I'm in my 40s. I'm paying attention, nigga. I like younger women. And by that, I mean 34 and up. Yeah, I don't, date, I don't date girls. I don't date girls under 30 no more. I used to be at 25. Fuck that. I don't date bitches under 30. I mean, women under they 30. They ain't gonna date now. you. You keep calling them bitches. I don't <laughs> date women under 30. I'm just saying. Truth. I'm just saying, like, I never had a hankering for a sick to hang out. What is a 16 year old going to teach me? What Not is a, a fucking 15? thing? Like, what actually, is look. So, Umar, Doctor Umar, you're right. You, you're right about that. But also, Doctor Umar said we do need to listen to the youth because the youth will teach you something that where you'll be faster amongst the older people. Then you get a management then, team together, hire that little girl, and you make her write a book. I'm not saying, read. I'm not saying, I didn't not, say I'm that. not saying you need to be with the youth, but I'm saying the youth can teach you something that makes you move faster amongst old people. You know the thing I And have, then you teach the youth something yeah. that makes them move faster amongst young people. The that thing, was Dr. Umar, and I don't listen to a lot of Dr. Umar, the but thing about know, that, Drake, was, that was insightful. The thing about Drake is like, you, there's all these receipts coming out. That's what I want to say. Drake or Drake? Drake. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> You, you have all these receipts coming out where people are like, yo, there was a time when Drake was like, I don't know why everybody keeps saying Mandem. Like, you're not from Jamaica or you're not from Britain. Even he's though Toronto has a... Right, but he's like, he's like... He goes know. wherever the... And wherever then, it's popping. A year later, he's like, oh, man, you know, the Mandem and blah, blah. Then there was the one where he was like, I don't understand why people do... It, it's just all this stuff. I don't, I don't like this. I can't stand that. And then he says something about, yeah, man, because this nigger... And I was like... Oh, oh yeah, that was oh no, that, that was he was talking. He was on the bus. That was when he was young. He was talking about a rapper being dope. He's like, this nigga is dope. I was like, uh, it's cringy. Who oh, says the hard cringy. er like that? I ain't say it, and it's intentional. Like I'm I, actually trying to do that. I, I, I'm not I saying nigga. It's never an er on that. I, <laughs> I also think there's a certain level of you know, there's everybody slips up some, from time to time, but I also feel like we're being fed the slip ups too. Like there's a there's a huge stage. I have this look of I have this feeling of maybe it's still in my look of I just don't give a fuck anymore. Like 
The sun could be a, a telescope. Well, nigga, I do not no, have a black. ladder that big. We black, nigga. Nothing surprises us. I, I know, but I'm at There's this point where nothing I'm, that surprises thing me. Thing one. I'm there, drained. Yeah, I'm so fucking tired. There is nothing that can surprise me. Anytime somebody gets in the car and some shit happens, like when I'm working and some shit will happen, they're like, oh my God, I'm so surprised. Aren't you surprised? I'm like, ain't nothing white people can do that surprise me. <laughs> ain't nothing anybody can do that surprise me. I done seen so much shit. We millennials, you are fucking I'm Gen on. X, shut up. You are you on that end. I'm a millennial fucking... falcon. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just saying that there's nothing. We've seen everything. Nigga, they've thrown the whole book, bus, train, everything at us. We've seen it all. So there's nothing that surprises us, but now people are starting to fucking actually revolt, yes. which I am seeing a lot of, and I come in, and I'm with you from afar. No, I mean, I'm, on a, I'm grassroots, nigga. I'm with boots down. If I have my shorts on, knees out, nigga, I'm there. I'm, you know, it, it, it bugs me out. It bums me out because everybody's just trying to live. Yes. So I, I'm, I stand by this. I said this uh, maybe a couple episodes ago. Yeah. The octogenarian octagon, it still stands. That's for the old people like Biden and Trump or whatever. Putin, they can fight it out. Box it out. And Putin, like, yes. That one. He's a little scrappy. But I also think... Yo, y'all got a problem with each other? Take it to each other. The fuck the... Oh, man, bro. Sorry to go back to Israel. Watching this thing, and this guy usually plays songs on his TikTok. When he goes on... Not a Omegle. It's one of those where you... Alive. Something like that, where you click it, and it goes to the next person. I don't know. All right, so, like, random people meet up. And then when they get the right person, he'll start playing the guitar and the piano at the same time. He'll be like, hey, guys, you want to hear a song? And then it'll just be, like, some young people. Like, yeah, let's hear a song. And it's it's, it's whole... It's, it's hard, uh, wholehearted. It's um, wholesome. Wholesome. And this one guy, he's, he's like, yeah, you guys ready to hear a song? She's like, there's three girls. She's like, wait, 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 are you Palestinian? He was like, why did you tell my curly hair? She was like, yeah, are you Palestinian? He's like, yeah. She's like, I don't want to hear you. You're a fucking dog. You should die. He was like, wait, what? How old are you? And the other girl in the back was 13. And I'm just like, and this guy is like just about to just play a song. It's not even like peace in the Middle East. He's just like playing music that he creates. And he's like, see, this is what I'm talking about, cancer and, and it's it's the parents. It's, it's not fucking, it's not in people's DNA is learned. Nah. It's learned behavior. Like, this evil shit is learned behavior. And, and they're going to grow fucking, up and be fucked up, There are some too. very fucking evil people in this world, and they teach their kids to be evil, and their kids' kids to I be evil. I just don't grant the under, I don't understand racist. How am I, so, why am I, I'm taught so many things about Jews, white culture, and all this other stuff, and I'm taught about, oh, don't forget 9-11. What do you mean, don't forget I was fucking there? So you don't forget 9-11, right? But at the same time, they're not forgetting uh, the fucking you know, the Holocaust. Don't yeah. forget the Holocaust. But meanwhile, it, it's it's like these people deserve to die because they da da da. And I'm in First a way off, that, you know, I, I, I don't get it. I don't think anyone should be saying who deserves to die because none of us are God. And that's a fucking fact. You can talk about all this fighting in the name of God and all that shit, but what's in the commandments? Yeah, Thou shalt like not shit. fucking kill. And you should be not saying people deserve to die. Fucking hypocrites, man. It's fucking hypocrites. Yo, I, I, I'll tell you this much. If you are able to see this episode, and, and you got this far, I think. And judge me. If you're able to see this episode, that means they haven't gotten us on some anti-Semitic shit yet. Yeah. But We're not, still, we're not spewing hate speech. And I, I'm, 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 we're I'm just loving, speaking facts. I'm loving the fact that there is truth coming out. I'm loving the fact that... We're going to get all these deviants, like Cat Williams said. We're going to, like, yo, shout out to Cat. I'm not shout saying. Shout out to Cat. Yeah, you know. Definitely started the year off right. And, and you know, you know who else randomly? I know this is talking. We were like, nigga this, nigga that. Fuck, why you fucking the? Nikki Glazer. Did you see the roast of Tom Brady? Oh, my God. Yes. She's she, hilarious. She killed. And then she got up there and said, <laughs> she said straight up to this nigga Tom Brady. She was like, yo, everybody thinks I'm some cum guzzling slut. My boyfriend's right there, 10 years, love this guy. But, but I, I would shoot, shoot you in the fucking head to get him the lottery to suck his dick. <laughs> I was like, to get a raffle ticket to suck this guy's dick. that shit was funny as shit. So, I don't um, know why I just had to bring So, that. speaking of white women, Megan Kelly. Fuck that bitch. Megan Kelly, I saw a video with her and she was talking about how stupid the college protests were. Yeah. And how stupid people are and how. Bro, do we really care? And, or, 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 and, not or, and, she was talking about, well, most of these protesters, they're ugly. That I shit. said, bitch, I said, so, she was like, pretty so, people don't have time. Pretty people don't have time to protest. We're busy living our successful lives. First off, there's a lot of pretty bitches in the world who are broke as shit, not successful. 
and broke ass legs. Not successful do you, do you at all. Understand First off, that's you, the most dumbest shit you can you ever them say as a fucking person. You told when you don't even look that good. Yeah, you, plastic surgery hoe. Listen, just because people said you look like Nicole Brown the Simpson, the fuck out that's, of not a, that's not a that's not a compliment. When I saw that video, I said, "This bitch dumb as fuck," and they give her a platform. That's why she's dumb as fuck. I don't even don't even say her name more than once to, to let it get tagged in some shit in the algorithm. Cause fuck that bitch. Cause here's the thing: I don't subscribe to her shit, and and, and even still, if, even if we tell her, you gotta say better shit. The company that she keeps and the, the viewers that watch her are dumb as fuck too. You know, it's it's sad that people are sad. It's sad that people are being given these platforms and they're fucking idiots. We're we're our country is run by a bunch of blithering fucking idiots. Congress, presidents, everywhere. We're being governed by some blithering fucking idiots who are selling our country to other countries. I think the reason why they don't want us to go past Antarctica is because there's a better city and they don't want us to have it because they know that we belong there. <laughs> this is some bullshit. We gotta get the fuck out of here. So this has been another episode, clip episode of the Educated Assholes. I'm just Dane. It's your boy, I'm tired, but it's still Rob. I love y'all, I hate y'all, it's all good. And if it's about you, it's about you. Yes. And not, don't even lace the bitch up and wear it. Go barefoot into this fight and say something in the comments. We can have a discourse. You don't have to throw in any jabs. Facts. And I won't throw in any jabs. We're Facts. educated. We're assholes Facts. on camera. We're also educated on camera and, we're, and vice versa. We will debate with anyone. Just talk to us. I'm willing to debate with anyone and I'm willing to have a conversation. I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I'm not going to have a lot of Jewish friends. I have a lot of friends of all different races. I do not discriminate against anyone, but I speak facts and truth when I see it. I'm not going to fucking sit by and say nothing. So that's our episode for tonight. Hopefully y'all subscribe, click that motherfucking link, and we out, bitch.